This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Here I have problem number 23 from the 10A and problem number 20 from the 12A. Isosceles trapezoid ABCD has parallel sides AD and BC with BC less than AD and AB equals CD. There's a point P in the plane such that PA equals 1, PB equals 2, PC equals 3, and PD equals 4. What's BC over AD? So now I already went ahead and created a diagram. Uh, you could probably do something similar. So basically we have that BN and NC are both, since N is the midpoint, they're both equal to A. And the same thing for AD, AM and MD are equal to each other and we called it B. And then I also drew X and Y, which is basically uh, if you were to line extend, extend line BC and extend line AD so that P was on line BC and AD. Okay, so now we're ready to solve this problem. Um, let's first fill in some side lengths in terms of the variables that we set. So I set XM equals X. So that means that this XA is going to be X minus B. So we have X minus B. Okay. Uh, for YB, we have something similar. We have X minus A. Okay. So now we can utilize the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, let's use that on this triangle right here. So we have PX, PX squared plus, let's say the whole thing, so xd is x minus b plus b plus b, so x plus b squared equals 4 squared, because the hypotenuse is 4. So that's our triangle right there. And now we also have this tiny triangle right here, that's also a right triangle, so px squared plus x minus b squared equals 1 squared. Now I can subtract these two equations from each other, so x plus b squared minus x minus b squared gives me 4 squared minus 1 squared, so 16 minus 1, so 15. And that's going to give me x squared plus 2bx plus b squared. Right. Now a lot of the squared terms are going to cancel out, so minus x squared, and then minus 2xb, and then we're subtracting that, so plus 2xb, so 2bx, and then minus b squared equals 15 or that 4bx equals 15. Okay, so we have this, but this doesn't really help us because we don't know what x is. But we can try doing the same thing on this side. And just for the sake of calculation, we noticed the pattern here was 4 squared minus 1 squared gave us 4bx. Well, it's going to be the same thing on this side too, right? So we're going to have 4ax equals 3 squared minus 2 squared, which is 9 minus 4, which is 5. So we have that 4ax equals 5, 4bx equals 15. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find bc over ad, which is 2a over 2b, or a over b. Well, 4bx, or 4ax, so that's a bit hard to see. Let's move down. So 4ax, over 4bx, well the x's cancel out, and the a, uh, the 4's cancel out, so we're left with a over b, so 5 over 15, which tells us that the answer is 1 third b. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.